Hey guys, welcome to this new video on our tutorial series in how to think in your new language. What we're going to do in this video is we're going to create a main menu, a very simple one, and then a pause menu, which is going to be a little bit more advanced. And then we're going to make our gameplay music so we can mute it in the post pause menu. So the first thing we got to do here is we got to create a new scene. And you see the scene is already good enough for a pause menu. It already has a background, it's just simple background. You have to create a new UI object button and the canvas is just gonna draw the button right here you have to drag it whatever you want you want it to be you can check the text of the button I'm gonna call this text this button start game and then the text is gonna say you know start game now increase the font size change the color to black and I'm going to make a copy of this button by hitting Ctrl D, drag it down, change the name of it to quit, and change the text to quit. I'm going to add this scene to our build settings. You have to save it first. So I'm going to save it as main menu. There you go. Now that it's added, I can actually go and create a script. And this script is going to be called main menu. I'm going to drop it on the canvas. And then I'm going to open the script. What we need for this script this is really simple. You, also, you only need to make a couple functions to make the script work. So just do public functions so the buttons can see them you'll see how in a second public function it's gonna be a start game function and just gonna take application the low level and our first level is called zero for unity and then I'm gonna make a public void quit and this void is just gonna say application dot quit it's pretty simple. So now we go to our Unity editor again and we click the button and over here we just have to drag the canvas look for the function, it's start game and then in quit we, we do just the same. We drag the canvas quit. Now we can actually start the game and see how it works sends us to the first level and if you hit quit it's not going to do anything because this is the editor but it works I promise you can try it if you go here to build settings and you build and run you'll see it so now that we have this simple menu we can add you can add more things to them to your main menu you can add a background you can add for example this text I want to add this text so you can see this bad fish man that's our game name now because you know why not and more, I'm gonna make it bigger just like that you see it's it's pretty simple you can add images whatever you want here I'm gonna show you how to do some animations later so now we have this I'm gonna save this scene and I'm gonna change to our first scene it's the main camera we already have a canvas here so what I'm gonna do with this canvas is I'm gonna create a, a empty game object and I'm gonna call it pause menu because that's what we're gonna do now menu and inside this pause menu game object I'm gonna create UI objects buttons this is our first button I'm gonna set my my letter size on this text just bigger change the color to black because I like it better that way and this is going to be called resume it's gonna be the resume button resume Okay, hit just drag it up a little bit. And I'm gonna make a copy with Ctrl D. I'm gonna call this main menu. Change the text to main menu. Make another button. This is gonna be the save button. This is a bit more advanced. You see, I may make some, some mistakes. You have to forgive me because this is a really long video. So load again. Change the name of the button. 
drag it down. Whoop, not don't do, don't do that drag text, drag down the button. Now this is gonna be fun, the mute function is actually one I like. Mute. And last but not least, quit. Change the text to quit. Okay, just drag it a little lower. And um, our canvas is not set to be in front. So I'm going to force the canvas to be in front by upping this number really high. So when we start the game, you're going to see just this is right in front of the player. But this is not the way I want the post menu to be. I want it to work only when I call it. So we have to make a script to make it work like that. I'm going to make it, call it cross script. Oh my god. Pause script. I'm going to attach that script to the canvas. And then I'm going to open it. So what do I need here? What I need here is to find my pause menu game object. So I can play with it. Pause menu. I need a bool paused. I need a bool muted because I want to mute my game. And I want to find my mute button's text. So for that I need to change this and I, I need to add using Unity Engine dot UI because that way I can access Unity's UI functions. And so I'm gonna say that I'm gonna say a serialized field text. It's gonna be called mute text. Okay, so for now we're fine. I'm gonna hit in the start method. I'm gonna say that uh, this game's not paused. Game's not paused. It's false. So now we start the game. The game's not gonna be paused. I need to uh, find my game, my pause menu. So pause menu equals, you know, remember game object dot find pause menu. That way we we see the game knows what pause menu means. And so now. I'm going to go to my update method to see if the player wants to pause the game. So if I want to teach you a new way, input that get key down. Get key down is mostly for PC or well, if you don't want the player to be able to change your keys. So key code escape dot escape. You see this all the buttons right here. Just escape. That means the esc key on your keyboard. So if this is pressed paused it's going to be mm, the opposite of paused so if it's not paused it's going to be paused if it's paused it's going to be not paused and if the game is paused this is the interesting part if the game is paused then pause menu is going to be active set active to true you can see it now and uh, also time dot time scale equals zero this means that the game is completely paused, nothing is going to happen, and fixed update are update. Now, if else if the game is not paused, what do we have? We need the opposite of this, right? So, pause menu, set active equals false. And time scale is 1. This way, we, we set the game in motion again. It's pretty simple. So now we're gonna do the voids for the buttons. What I need here is please first if you remember it was resume. It's resume. So what does resume mean? It means past is false. What else? We need public void main menu. What's main menu? Well, main menu was the scene number two, if we, if we if I remember correctly. So I'm just gonna say that application dot load level two, because that's my main menu. What else do we got? We got save and load. So save and load is gonna be player preps again. There's many other ways I I realize that, but this is the simplest one. So I'm just gonna do save. 
what am I gonna save? I'm just going to save the current scene our player is at because that's the simplest thing we can do. You can save many things, the points, you can save the state, you can save the weapons. I'm just I'm just going to save our scene. Player press that set int. This int is gonna be the key is gonna be current scene save. And the value is going to be application dot loaded level. And now I'm going to do a public void load. It's going to be, of course, it's going to be application dot load level. What level am I going to load? I'm going to load player prefs dot get int. I'm gonna get the same int current scene save. Pretty simple. It's not that complicated and it's just a way to save and load some things in your game. Next we have the mute button. But for the mute button, we first need to add music to our game. So how do I add music to my game? It's pretty simple. I'm gonna make a new game object. This game object is gonna be called music manager. And so my music manager has nothing right now, but I'm going to put an audio source on him. So we have an audio source here. There's a lot of complicated things right now. It seems complicated, simple. And I'm going to add one of these songs to my game. I'm going to add on a mission to my assets folder. It's getting added right now. It takes a little bit. So now that it's added, I can see it right here on a mission. I'm going to make a new folder called music or audio, actually. I'm going to add it to my audio folder. My music manager wants some songs, so I'm just going to add this to audio clip and then put it on loop. So now when I start the game, we can hear the music of the game, and that's, that's extremely great. Now, when I, I want to mute that song, so how to mute it, I'm just going to do a public void mute for my button. And that mute function is just going to say that muted equals the, the opposite of muted. Because I want to handle this in my update method. Now, if muted is not active, it's going to set it to active and the other way around. So now, in the update method, if the game is muted, If the game is muted, then audio listener dot volume equals zero. And mute text. Remember, I said I wanted to change this. So mute text is going to be called now. It's going to it's it's mute text dot that text. It's going to be on mute. Else, if the game is not muted which means, you know, sounds playing, audio listener dot volume dot volume equals one and mute text dot text is actually gonna say mute. Okay, so we save this. Oh, we're lacking one button still. That button is the quit button. Void quit. So it's going to be just application that quit. OK, now we're going to, you know, make our buttons do stuff. We go to the canvas, pause menu, resume, drag your canvas, pause script, resume. Then main menu, drag your canvas. Pause script, main menu. Save, same. Drag and drop. Pause script, save. Load, same. Drag and drop. Pause script, load. Mute. Drag and drop. Our canvas. Pause script, mute. 
and finally quit drag and drop the canvas and quit but our canvas needs to know what mute text is we haven't told it so mute text is text this text okay so now we start the game we have music we hit escape the game is paused I cannot move my character and if I hit mute it changes to unmute and the sound is muted isn't that just amazing so now we can save the game and load look at that it threw us to our fish scene again mute unmute that's so wonderful main menu throws us our main menu and everything works perfectly so guys that was this video I hope you had fun I hope you learned a lot of things because this video is actually one of the funnest I have ever made so thanks for watching